Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and today I'm looking at a book from Law Society Publishing. Yes, it's that time of year again where we have the Solicitor's Handbook uh, for review. An excellent book and something every solicitor must have. This is the new edition for 2012. We'll look at it in a minute. It's the Legal Handbook series. Um, it's written, of course, by Andrew um, Hopper, Queen's Counsel, and uh, Gregory Treverton Jones, Queen's Counsel, both of whom are very really excellent and have a, a full grasp of what is required. We've given the title for the latest um, edition, this, A Vital Purchase for All Solicitors, this latest edition from the Law Society, and that's exactly what it is. Now, you can see the book, you can see the back of the book there, with some detail. Um, there is shading at the sides, which is very helpful because that gives you an idea of what you're looking for. For instance, half the book is covered by uh, the appendices, which is basically starting there. The SRA principles starting is halfway through the book, basically. What you've got, of course, is a very detailed uh, index right at the back, which I think is in extremely important because you can find things pretty quickly. But one of the reasons this has come about is because there, there have been some changes. You've obviously got the standard appendices, which set out exactly what is required with um, all the various um, regulations and requirements of the profession. The, uh, the rest of the book, the first part of it, is covered in chapter headings. For instance, let's take one of them. This is on money laundering. You can see the paragraph numbering again at the side. There are no footnotes as such, just, just some very basic information, but it's extremely helpful because it gives you everything you need to know. Now, right at the front, you'll notice in the contents that they've got the previous uh, forwards and prefaces to earlier editions, because obviously what we've now got is an overview of the current uh, code of conduct from 2011, and that's really what this book is, is covering, because there's been a lot of change since the last handbook came out. Do read the detailed review, because if you find yourself somewhat amused by the regulatory maze that governs the conduct of solicitors, as the Law Society quite likely calls it, then having this book uh, is really your first priority for the profession. Um, we've had to grapple with an entirely new code of conduct, say the authors, and a new suite of rules formally, uh, forming the SRA. Um, so therefore, of course, the handbook has been um, having to look in a very different way at some of the uh, changes, including, of course, the delivering of legal services through um, ABSs, the Alternative Business Structures, which is the, the big thing that's going to affect us from 2012 onwards. Um, I'm very pleased with this book because, as a barrister, I think it's extremely important for us to know what is happening to both parts of the profession, because we are very heavily regulated ourselves at the bar. The 2012 edition, therefore, of the handbook is nonetheless a must-have purchase for everybody. It takes account of all of the important changes which we've listed. And, of course, you've got a very detailed um, set of appendices which I've shown you. As you would expect, the commentary throughout from these two gentlemen is uh, extremely authoritative. It's expert and refreshingly reader-friendly, so it's not anything like as boring as you might think, because you know that the issues you've got in this book are the things you, you're going to have to face in your practice. There are practical suggestions, of course, of the best way of dealing with the issues. And besides the 18 appendices, you've got extensive cables of, uh, tables of cases, statutes and uh, SIs, and also the European uh, legislation. Um, it makes this handbook, therefore, a very important um, and invaluable resource for 2012, and I do advise you to get hold of it. It's certainly worth reading, and do read the forward and the information, which will give you a pointer in the direction that the authors have taken the book. Thank you to Law Society Publishing and everybody concerned for the new edition. Bye-bye.